the string a b c d is made up of two parts a b is inextensible massless and smooth and b c d is rough and has a mass capital m the string b c d passes over a light pulley of radius 2 upon pi meters the coefficient of friction between sphere a of same mass capital m and the surface is same as that of between pulley and string b c d find the coefficient of friction if sphere a is impending to slide let us draw free body diagram on the sphere its weight mg acts vertically downwards normal force given by the horizontal floor will act vertically upwards and tension developed in the string will act horizontally towards right as a result of this t1 tension force on a the sphere tends to slide towards right so to avoid this sliding there comes a frictional force against to it if the sphere is just about to slide then this frictional force will be static friction then from the fbd of capital a we can write normal equal to as capital mg and t1 tension equal to as static friction force so we can write t1 equal to as mu times normal reaction force which implies t1 is equal to mu times capital mg now first let us calculate the length of bcd wire it is equal to length of bc portion plus length of cd portion length of bc is 1/4 of 2 pi r plus 3 meters and radius of the pulley is given as 2 upon pi meter so substituting that value here we get 1 meter plus 3 meter which is 4 meter mass of bcd string is given as capital m so its linear density lambda will be equal to m upon 4 now mass of cd string is equal to 3m upon 4 now tension at point c will be equal to the weight of mass of cd string since the system is in equilibrium since the system is in equilibrium tension at b point should be equal to t1 so if the system is in equilibrium then tension at b should be equal to tension at c tension at b is t1 and t1 is equal to mu times capital mg so we can write this as mu times capital mg equal to as 3 capital mg upon 4 so on simplification we get mu value equal to as 0.75 therefore the correct option is 3